Imagine being behind the wheel during a high-speed chase with speeds reaching 110 miles per hour. It's an experience that now we can not only tell you about, but show you up close. New Center, it's Bill McKay reports. All right, all right. This is the way the chase finally came to an end. Five police cruisers boxing in the suspect's car. Here's how it began. Officer Bob Surgenor installed a video camera in his cruiser about six months ago. Today, he and I watch the videotape recording of the high-speed chase. On Saturday, he had a call. Suspects in a stolen car involved in a robbery at a store in Berea. His camera was rolling. The entire chase lasted about 15 minutes. Here are some of the highlights. This is where the suspect decided to make a run for it. Speeds hit 70 miles an hour. The suspect's car suddenly hit south on I-71. By now, a second Berea cruiser is involved. It's the car in front of the camera car. The camera is recording not only video, but the officer inside the cruiser. Now they approach the roadblock. The three suspects were arrested, but already one has made bond. All are from New York City. Two others are being held. The experimental video camera in the cruiser, however, will continue in Berea. As time goes on, and we, we get more and more of these things on tape, arrests, uh, this type of thing. Um, the other guys in the department seem to be more receptive to it. Uh, and hopefully uh, it can become a part, a regular part of, of law enforcement. As Bob puts it, it's like having a silent partner, one that never takes its eye off the target. I'm Bill McKay, New Center 8 Berea.